So, what's wrong with this picture? Absolutely nothing. The two of these things are bound together by one fundamental aspect of spirituality. A spirituality of gift and gratitude. Gift given, received, and given. Received and given. A gift received, a gift given. Gratitude and giftedness. That, was, that is what marks the Eucharist. That is what should mark the way that we receive and utilize this in our life. You see, I mentioned I can tell everything about you by looking at your checkbook. I could also add to that, asking you what do you believe about the Eucharist. Do you understand that how we receive and use this grows out of our sense of this, the proper sense of this, the Eucharist, of gratitude, of giftedness, and thanksgiving. That is what should be the basis of how we receive and utilize this. Do you know that if Catholic families tithed, this is what we're promoting during Lenten season, asking you to consider tithing, a biblical stewardship. If Catholic families tithe, do you know that we would not need fundraisers in the church? That's right. You see, for so long, the church has relied on supporting its parishes and schools on things like, you know, rolling the dice, you know, Mardi Gras nights and bingo and so on and food sales and all that. Not all that is bad. It's okay. But let's face it. With some of that stuff, it's been kind of hard for us Catholics to justify to our critics, you know. Really, though, we would get more support. The church would actually receive more support for its schools, its ministries, if Catholics tithe. And that grows out of a spirit, a Eucharistic spirit, a sense of gift received, gift given. The Bible says, where your heart is, there your treasure will be also. 